Hello besties and welcome back to my channel. I'm still a little bit sick so please excuse my voice. It's a little mucusy. It's kind of nasty but it is what it is and I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm so happy and I promised you guys that I would be back and I hope you guys are having a great start to the new year. Our started a little bit rough but we're here. If you guys haven't already checked out my Las Vegas 48 hours for Josh Hoon's birthday, make sure you guys go check out that vlog because it was kind of crazy. But Today I have something special for you guys. We are going to be recreating this little looky look right here because I have been getting so many questions about how I did it. And honestly, I don't even know how I did it. I'm not the best with hair. You know, I was blessed with the hands for makeup, but just for hair, it's not for me. Never been good at it. And I'm slowly <laughs> trying to make myself better, but this was definitely a step in the right direction with this hairstyle because I really feel like I ate this one up. It was giving kind of like 90s Pamela Anderson vibes, but the guys were literally clowning me the entire trip calling me Bump It. I don't know if you guys remember those little like Bump It's that used to go in the hair because my poof was so high up, but I loved my hair. I thought it was the cutest. It was perfect all night. It literally did not fall out once. I didn't have to mess with it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that because so many questions in regard to that. So let's get this video started. I have been obsessed with the salt burn playlist, so best believe this is what I was jamming out to. So first of all, this hairstyle is super easy and I wanna help you guys how to do it. Obviously use a finer point comb or whatever they're called to basically section off the two front pieces that we're gonna use as the fringe. Like I said, this is all up to preference on how messy you want it. So you can use the comb or you can just use your finger and just be messy with it like I was. That's how I did it the first time that I tried it. And honestly, I love the results. And I basically had just clipped these little pieces of hair away because we're gonna put the rest of the hair up in a ponytail. So I like to messily comb this. Like I said, this is a, like a 90s messy Pamela Anderson look. So I'm not too, too, too worried on any bumps or anything because there's gonna be hair Hair covering it so per usual just gonna put it at the very top of my head and secure this ponytail down and then I'm gonna take my flat iron and curl these pieces that are in the hair tie you guys can use a regular curling iron but I just prefer my straightening iron and I completely forgot to put heat protectant in it so best believe my hair was frying as we were ironing this and then we're gonna be taking another hair tie and we're just gonna do this half tie thing. So right when you're about to finish, you're gonna put it in this little chonguito up here. I really don't know what this is called, but you trust me, everybody knows how to do this because I used to love putting my hair like this. And I'm gonna start spreading out the rest of the bun all over. And don't worry if it looks a little bit crazy right now because we're gonna just secure the pieces of hair that were remaining in the front. And we're just gonna use a bunch of bobby pins to set them into place. Now this is the part where it's really fun because you can literally go as messy as you'd like you can put them and pin them wherever you need to so it's like i said up to you where you want them and just whatever you think looks best and we're gonna go back with the straightening iron and we're just gonna curl these front pieces because we're about to install the weave i love these clip and bangs so much and they're so easy to install literally just separate this hair right here and then i just clip the bangs in and as you guys can see i leave these little two sections separated see we clip it in right here and then the two little hairs over like that kind of blends in the hair with the clip in and then i just go back to pinning the rest of my hair to make sure everything looks cute and pretty and then we're just going to straighten the bangs that's giving my emo era Ooh, it's very much because tonight will be the night that i will fall for you anyways this is what the hair looks like and i am obsessed and so cute super easy to do i hope you guys like this one hey guys and that is actually it for this hair tutorial i hope that was a little more simple for you guys um i wanted to do a talk through but honestly i was kind of trying to figure it out as i was going as well but it turned out exactly how i wanted it it's like the very messy just super cute middle fringe on here like you don't need bangs for this look you could have stopped right where i was with like the side part but honestly i love the look of bangs as of recent especially for this hairstyle particularly because it looks a little more like the pamela anderson hair so i bought these clip-ins because i'm not gonna cut my bangs this is basically what it looks like um for these pieces right here honestly it's up to you how much hair you take out i prefer just like the longer strands and honestly the messier the better for me i 
just really loved how I looked that night and you guys were asking me about what glitter I put in my hair and if I'm being completely honest, I used the glitter from like Party City during Halloween season that everybody was obsessed with. I just like sprayed, like drowned myself in that body glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and let me know what you guys want to see next in the comment section below. Thank you guys for showing me so much love on my last video and I'll see you guys on the next one and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>